Hi Air 11, in today's lesson you're going to be looking at Christian attitudes to punishment. Your LL for this lesson is to explain different attitudes to punishment. Your starter for this lesson is to define the following words, retribution, reformation, rehabilitation. You need the definition for these words because you're going to be using these in the lesson later on. The first thing that I want you to do is open up your revision guide to page 38. I also want you to open up the Word document which is uploaded onto class chart. You can either complete this activity on a piece of paper, your Word document or a device that you're using. I want you to read through the importance of punishment and biblical teachings on punishment. And I want you to bullet point three attitudes for each row including sources of wisdom. Your master task is a punishment is needed in society in order for it to be upright society. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? And I want you to explain why. We are now going to be looking at what the Bible teaches about punishment. So this worksheet is uploaded on class chart, so I need you to open that up for me. Before we go into the worksheet, we need to be looking at the words retribution, reformation and rehabilitation and finding out what those definitions mean. So the word retribution means a repayment. So it's a deserved punishment. It's a like for like punishment. So in the US, you have got capital punishment, for example, if you commit the crime of murder. So it's like for like. If you kill someone, then the punishment should be your life should be taken away too. In the UK, we do not have that. We have life imprisonment, for example. Reformation is when you try and change the criminal so they no longer commit the crime. Rehabilitation is a program for reforming the offender to prevent later offences. Now, we have got four quotes on the worksheet. I want you to look at those four quotes and I want you to do two minimum. So you're going to choose two that you are going to do. If you want to do all four of them, that's completely fine. So the first quote that we're going to be looking at is if someone injures his neighbour, whatever he has done, the same must be done for them. Fracture for fracture, eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. So for that quote, we're going to be explaining what this suggests. So what does it suggest? So you're going to write that down. Then you are going to decide whether it's retribution, reformation or rehabilitation. So for this particular one, if it says um, he has done what must be done to him so that is saying it's a like for like sort of punishment so that is going to be retribution and I want you to write down what does it mean to you so you're going to do that for at least two of those quotes like I said if you want to do all of them you can do that as well the master task I want you to think about is criminals deserve a second chance what do you think and why do you agree or disagree with it you are now going to be opening up the Quizlet link, which is on class charts. So as you can see on the left hand side, I have got flashcards and match activity circled. You're going to be learning the flashcard and then you're going to play the game match. You're going to match the quotes and definition as quickly as you can. And as you can see, you will have got a timer as well. So I want you to take a picture of the timer and upload it onto class charts. You may wish to play all the other games in order to reinforce your knowledge that you have learned. You are now going to be practicing a GCSE C question. This is a five mark question. Your question is to explain two reasons why Christians may support the use of punishment. Remember, because this is a C question, you are going to include a source of wisdom. Your sentence starters are on the left. So firstly, in the Bible, it says, this means, therefore, as a result. And then you need to do a point and development for the second paragraph. Your master tasks are, is there any other sources of wisdom that you could use other than the ones that we have learned in today's lesson? Can you think of any from any other topics? What I want you to do after you have finished this question, take a picture of the answer and upload it to class charts. You are now going to self-assess this question. So as you can see from this slide, you have got what you should have written down. 
So the Bible teaches that punishment should be just and fair. Punishment is an important part of justice in a fair society. Punishment has a variety of aims, protection, retribution, reformation, deterrence. And the New Testament teaches that people should have second chances. So these are the points are that, you, that you should have used and you can develop them as well. So I want you to mark out of five. Have you included a source of wisdom? Have you done a point and a development and another point and a development? Your plenary for today's lesson is Hangman. I want you to follow the link that is on class charts to take you to the website. The word that you're going to be looking at is something that we have covered already in today's lesson. So clicking on each letter and making sure that you get that word. Thank you, Year 11.